Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another round of Adoraiju Plays Deadly Creatures. In this part, we are playing Chapter 4, The Citadel. And what exactly lies within the darkness of the Citadel? Only the Scorpion knows. Or at least Cersei is about to find out. Not necessarily that that's a good thing, but whatevs. Hmm. And out here we see... Aha! Hello, Grubby! Nom, 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 nom. This, in case you haven't noticed, is actually part of what the tranch part of the area that the tarantula was in earlier, but he took a very different path, and you'll see that quite a bit uh, on and off inside this game. Uh, different characters with different abilities uh, can go to different places. Come on. Wacko. And Yanko. And Spanko. So now that that's over with. Dig a hole, dig a hole, dig a hole. Go in a hole. Fortunately, the holes appear to be custom made for little scorpions like us. Uh oh, and little scorpions like that too. Uh oh. Wap! Missed! Come on, you. No love lost between these two. And yes, the other scorpion has, ow, all your abilities. And when you get poisoned, and yes, you can get poisoned like I just did, that you hear that in the background, that weird chanting noise, and it is really unnerving, to be honest. Swing and a miss. Direct hit. Come on, you. Get back. Get down, get down! Now that that's... Come on. Yes! And... One. Two. Three. Now that that's done... We can leave. Now exactly what's that above us? There are some areas where you can sort of vaguely see them from the outside, but you never actually get to go there. And the area above the wooden slats there is one such place. Oh, I'm an idiot. What's this? Why, it appears to be a tarantula and a wasp. Yes, we are introduced to a new enemy here. The tarantula hawk wasps. These are the state insects of Arizona, and uh, they're exactly what they sound like. They frickin' hunt tarantulas for a living. They're these humongous, ow, humongous wasps with a very powerful sting. And uh, what they do is, I believe they eat small insects, but when the time comes to lay an egg, the female wasp paralyzes the tarantula with its powerful sting. And once it's done that, the tarantula effectively goes into sort of a paralyzed torpor. This means that the tarantula is completely helpless. It can't move, can't talk. Of course it can't talk, it's a bloody tarantula, but it can't move, it can't act, it can't do much of anything, except just sort of wait there as the tarantula uh, hawk wasp uh, in stings it with the ovipositor, releases an egg into its body, and slowly the egg hatches, ooh, leaf cricket, and allows the uh, infant larva to devour the tarantula from the inside out. A rather horrible fate for anyone or anything. So after a few months, tarantulas can last quite a while without food, by the way. After a few months, the tarantula slowly uh, dies because the larva actually deliberately leaves the vital organs for the end, just so it'll last longer. I don't know I want to even think about how much pain the tarantula is in while this is all going on, but basically it's like a much slower paced version of the xenomorphs from Alien and what they do to people. That's what the tarantula hawk wasp does to tarantulas. Uh-oh. Leapin' lizards, we've got a new foe on our hands. Lizards are, uh, the speedsters of the game. 
they are fast. And when I say they're fast, I mean they are damn fast. Wait a minute, do we already... Yeah, I think we already did come across some lizards earlier, but... <clears throat> Burrow Strike. This is a completely useless move. What the heck's happening to my vice? <clears throat> the Burrow Strike basically allows the scorpion to tunnel underground and, uh... Ultimately, once it's tunneled underground, it will, uh... Wait for a few seconds and then spring up to attack the foe, or earlier if you want to. But the thing is, you don't get to, uh. Got you. 30 minutes can save you 30% or more of card shirts by behind. Anyways. Once that happens, the. Hmm. What was I talking about? I forget. Anyways. Lizards, fast. Not that tough very fast, though. And they're not who we're seeking. We are seeking the Tarantula Hawk Wasps, who are far, far more dangerous. Up we go, up the side. Hmm, what's this? Why, it appears to be another hole to be dug. And once we're inside... Ooh, hello, Leaf Cricket number three. And more grubs. Sweet. And there's no enemies. This is my lucky day. Anyways, that's what I was talking about, the burrowing move. When you burrow underground, you basically, uh, well, it's exactly what it sounds like. The main problem being that you can't stay underground for more than a few seconds. The game just doesn't let you. So, you can't really plan a very effective ambush. The tarantula, on the other hand, has a couple of attacks that you can use from a distance and can line up and can take some time to use. So, that's helpful. Stupid gnats. Come on, let me dig a hole, dig a hole, dig a hole, dig a hole. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What's down here? What does appear to be... <laughs> Little did they know that they had just cr invaded the anus of a crusty old prospector. <laughs> Very crusty, you. Come on, I want to just dig this thing out. Now, digging as we've seen before, doesn't just get you underground. Sometimes it opens up new paths that you might not have even known were there. This is one such new path. And there's how you get down. Hello, toxic beetles. Ooh, wait a minute. Ow! Frickin'. The good thing about... The bad thing about toxic beetles is they do that. Basically, they sit there with their butts to you and attack you. The good news is, they're also very weak. They're probably the weakest enemies in the whole game. Uh, they can only take one solid hit before going down. This is similar to actually the Tarantula Hawk Wasps who we'll be fighting later. They're very fast, they're very nimble, and they could poison you. But, they also are fairly frail, and one really good hit can pr usually take them down. Certainly frailer than you are. Mr. Made of Iron Scorpion. Uh-oh. What's that sound? I hear a clickety scrapity. <laughs> ah, it's Jazz Scorpion! Place? And we could be doing this all day if it ain't. This is it. Just keep digging. Why don't you dig? Yeah, like that, thanks. So, as we heard before from the tarantula, those guys are trying to dig up the uh, tomb of a guy who lived in the Old West because he has the other half of a map to a treasure in his pocket. <clears throat> a treasure that... You know, it's never really very well explained. It's sort of said that uh, somehow oh, Spanish... Hold on, hold on. Hey man, is this valuable? No, it's quartz. Well, that's some kind of crystal, right? You know, like all them shopping networks on TV. Get digging. All right, fine, whatever. Well, I'm keeping it. <laughs> oh, you're not very bright, are you? Ooh, uh oh. Ouch! Whack! Come on. You know, everybody says that quartz is the rarest of all uh, crystalline stones, and I can sort of believe it because it's cheap. But when was the last time you actually saw a piece of quartz just hanging out on the ground? 
Oh, now I remember. I actually did see a few big quartz deposits in a national park once. They were just hanging up there on a rock. Real pretty. Now, there's only one way we could go, and that's up here. Up to the tarantula hawk wasp hive. Up in this cactus. And there's a lot of them. I guess uh, tarantula hawk wasps in this game are what uh, TV tropes would probably call a glass cannon. Simply because, uh, well, as I mentioned, they could dish it out, but they sure can't take it. Grabbo! And. Stabbo! And. Yanko! Clanko! Well, that was quite a horrible way to die. But you d the thing is, you don't even really need to uh, clobber them that hard, simply because... Uh-oh. Like I said, one good whack is usually enough to take them down. At the easier difficulties, at least. With the harder difficulties, it's sort of... Oh, wait a minute, is that... He's still alive! Shit! I thought he was dead. Come on, you. Whoopsies. Aw, oh, man. Apparently you have to stun these things before you can uh, use the uh, finishing moves on them. But whatever. Oh, great. More of them. And when you're as little and teeny as they are, they sound like friggin' helicopters of death. When you're as little and teeny as they are, they are friggin' helicopters of death. Wait for it. Wait for it. Got you. You missed. So did I. You know, I read somewhere that scorpions are really among the oldest animals on Earth. And I mean, when they, I say they're old, I mean they're freaking ancient. They're, they're older than trees, dude. There's... They're about as old as sharks. Some of the oldest animals on Earth. I think the uh, world record for oldest animal on Earth is... No, that's not what we're looking for. I think the world record for the oldest animal on Earth is the cockroach, which has survived, uh, largely unchanged for, what, a few hundred, well, it's definitely a few hundred million years at least. But then again, can you really blame them? 